Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are going to be ranking all of my individual contours and bronzers. Now you might be thinking, oh, those are two different products, why are you lumping them together? I really don't have much of either, like, outside of, like, palettes. <laughs> so all I have are, like, these ones in my little drawer, and those are all the individually packaged ones, and then all the depotted or singles, this is it. So, like, all together, well, maybe I should count. One, two, three. I only have 12 <laughs> so I thought if anything if I'm going to rank them I might as well just do them together because if I split them up we're gonna have like six bronzers and six contours I will not be including any uh, bronzers like I mentioned before or contours that are in face palettes I already ranked all my face palettes if you missed it I'll throw it up in the cards if you want to check it out I also ranked all of my foundations and all of my highlighters I think the highlighters are the most recent video so I will also have that up in the cards if you guys want to catch that one as well this is definitely not going to be as long as the highlighters video. I think I talked for like a half an hour about highlighters, so that one's a bit of a long video. But I'm just going to pull these out of the containers, go ahead and rank, pre-rank them, and then we'll jump into discussing them. Again, I'm going to do it like my other videos, starting from the bottom, working my way up to number one. Alright, so starting at the bottom of this list. Mm, this, thankfully I didn't pay full price for this. <laughs> this is from ABH. And this is the ABH bronzer in Tani. I'm pretty sure I found this at a TJ Maxx. It's just really orange. Like it's it's a decent like amount of product and a decent shade-ish, but I found out that once like I blend it out of my skin, it just looks really orange on me. Super orange. That combined with the fact that it's so expensive and the powder, the formula itself isn't like the best. Like there are obviously a lot of other better options here. I picked this up because I was excited to see it at TJ Maxx and because it was a new thing, you know, back when ABH wasn't doing a nosedive, remember yeah, those days? This was a new thing. Everyone was talking about these bronzes when they first came out and so I was really excited. I really wanted to try it and I just, meh, <laughs> meh. Next we have a bronzer from Makeup Geek and again I tried this because it was like the thing back when Makeup Geek, back when I was buying from other problematic people and this again is just like a mad bronzer. It's not the best, it's not the worst. I don't reach, honestly like I could, I could probably sell both of these. I probably should declutter them or sell them but uh, I do think it was too pricey for what it was. I did pay full price for this. Yeah. Moving on, I think this is probably one of the most overpriced and like big regrets I have for products. This is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. Everyone, well, a lot of people and their mothers were hyping this up for the bronzer. This wasn't worth the price. It was not. It was not. I probably need to put this in an upcoming, like, project pan so I actually, like, finish it up because I just want to use it and get it out of my face. But it's just, like, okay. I do like the shade. It is a very pretty shade, and it does blend out really nicely. But not $80 worth of blending out really nicely. No. I think, <laughs> uh, who else hates this? I think it was um, Smoky Glow also bought this because of the hype and also hates it. Like, it's, it's, it's not worth the price. It's not. <laughs> and I include this in my bronzers and not in the highlighters because it does have a highlighter because I mainly got this for the bronzer. Mainly to try out a Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Moving onwards, I have a tiny little mini. <laughs> and this came from a little mini duo from Kevin Aquan. And this is the contour powder. This is a nice contour powder. It's not the best. Again, not the best, not the worst. I almost hit pan in this. You can actually see I did use it enough. But this is way too much money. Like, I will never buy the full size of this contour powder. It's too much money. Uh, I think this is actually a fairly close dupe for the Smashbox contour shade, which I have further on this list. Get the Smashbox one. Don't buy the Kevin Aquan one. Even better, get a Milani one. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But, like, again... Not, not worth the price. I'm glad I got a mini and I got, I got to try it out. Not buying this full price. <laughs> Next we have the, well, one half of a Wet and Wild Contour Duo. So I'll throw a picture up right here to show you what the actual duo looks like. It's like half highlighter slash face powder and half uh, bronzer slash contour. This, I really like the formula, but it does look a little orange on me. I'm keeping it because I did depot it and I had to add magnets to the back of it. I want to find a way to make this work for me because I don't want to just get rid of it. <laughs> I did use up the entire other half of this um, duo, and I love the face powder. I do like the formula. I just feel like maybe it needs to be a little less orange. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe I'll, I will mix and match this. Maybe I will repress it with a little bit of the Kevin Aquan. That could work. That could actually really work. And just get it just a little bit more cool tone because it does look a bit orange. But I do love the price point, and I love the formula. I just wish the shade was just 
a tiny bit better. Next, we have another depotted bronzer, and this is from The Balm. This is the Bahama Mama bronzer. This is a bit dark for me now. The next one that I have is a, a closer shade to me, but this is really good. It's, uh, I have to use it with a hella light hand. If anything, now it's more of a contour than it was a bronzer, but it's a really good formula. I only buy these on sale. Any balm powders, they do twice a year, 50% off everything. Buy your, buy the powders then, because these are then $10. I think this is $20 is a bit much for this. $10, I think these are all great for $10. They're amazing for $10. <laughs> you get a lot of product. Like, it is a big pan, and it is a fairly deep pan as well. So it does last a long time, and I just, I love the formula. The only downside is that I think when I first got this, I could have used this as a bronzer. Maybe, sort of. Now it's a contour. I just need to use it more, because it's been stuck in my drawer for so long. But formula on that is incredible, and the price point, when you get it on sale, amazing. Also from The Balm, this is a newer release from them. This is the Take Home The Bronze, and this is in the shade Oscar. And it's specifically marketed as an anti-orange bronzer, and I have to say, yeah, it is a, it's a little warm, but it's not really orange. It's a great bronzer, and this I can actually use as a bronzer right now. Um, I didn't depot this one. I think I'm going to keep this in the packaging, because it is very cute. Oh, and I'm going to drop it. It is very cute, and again buy these on sale twice a year the bomb has those sales for ten dollars i think this is great and i really do like this so now we're at the point we're like at the halfway point where like the rest of these bronzers and contours i really like and this is just a really great product next we have a smashbox contour product this is a deep potted contour product no this is a deep potted bronzer shade from their trio i'll throw a picture up right here they have a contour palette trio this is the bronzing shade i, I really like this i, I love smashbox face but they're a bit expensive but i really do love their um bronzing and contour powders they're just buttery they're gorgeous they're just bah. um i probably could have got this in the packaging i don't know why i depotted this mainly just to see if i could um but i really do like this bronzer it's a really great bronzer and even better next i have the contour shade from that same trio and this i have pan in i freaking love this contour shade it's like my perfect idea of a contour it's like the perfect cool toned shade just oh, this is great i might have to repress this soon because i do like to work in the middle of the pan whenever i go in with my contour brush this is a great product i don't know if i would rebuy these because i have found some other like dupes and different palettes specifically from the profusion palettes but i gotta say these these are really good from smashbox next this is an expensive product that i actually really like I, I know most of this video was just like, is it expensive? It's probably bad. This makes me eat crow. This is from Burberry. And this is technically not even a bronzer or a contour. It's, it's called a blush. It's called a dark earthy blush. And this is the dark earthy blush in number 11 light glow. So this is actually the full size product. Actually, is it? I think this is the full size product. And it's got gorgeous packaging. And then inside it's this perfect, perfect bronzer shade. I'm actually wearing it today. Bronzer shade, contour shade. I'm gonna mix this up perfect contour shade. I've been wearing this recently. I love this. Uh, I kind of want to, I wonder why they marketed this as a blush, maybe for darker complexions. One could hope, I doubt it, but, <laughs> but it's, it's a really good contour shade. I have not hit pan on this yet. I've been trying to work through all these individually packaged bronzers and contours, but this is just so good. I'm pretty sure I bought like a Burberry set. So that, that's why I don't know if this is a full size product because I did buy a set and it came like a mini lipstick i think a mascara um and then this and i think something else i forgot i got it a long time ago <laughs> if i'm being honest but this is so good i really like this i love the formula i love the shade it just it's great and i love the packaging and it makes me feel fancy whenever i use it so one of the higher end products i really enjoy oh my god we're down to our final two and they're both from the same brand. So the first one is technically not even a bronzer. Again, I like to multitask and figure out new ways of using things. This is the Milani Face Powder, and this is in the shade 4 Light Tan. I've been using this damn near constantly as a, a light bronzer. That's a, a tip you can use if you have any face powders that you really love the formula of or the textures of. Just buy a darker shade and you can use it as a bronzer. Might not work for everyone, 
but it is a good thing to keep in mind if you're really trying to do things on a budget or if you want to try something different. I repressed this recently because I had a huge pan in the middle, so I just repressed it like that. I've been using this daily. So I used the contour for today was this Burberry kind of blush thing, and then I went over, I've been trying to do bronzer and contour differently. I used to go in with bronzer first and then contour. Recently I've been going in with the contour first and then bronzing on top of it, and I really like the effect. So that's what I did today with these two products. I really like this. I don't know if I would rebuy this again because I have another bronzer from Milani that I do love, which is coming up next, but uh, I, I'm glad that I got to use this and I'm glad that I found a new way of using this because once upon a time I could use this as a face powder back when I was darker. <laughs> But now that I can't, I'm glad I can use this as a bronzer and then really use up the whole thing. Last, but certainly not least, my number one bronzer. I did depot this as well, and thankfully it came out in one piece. This is the Milani Baked Bronzer in shade 9 Dulce. I love this formula. The only downside to this, this looks incredible on skin, on your, on your in-life IRL face. This doesn't come out great on camera. I've noticed that. It's a very subtle, very natural looking bronzer. And whenever I wear this, I saw a few months ago when I wore this on camera, you really couldn't tell I was wearing any bronzer. But like in person, not in these studio lights, it looks incredible and it looks lovely. I love the formula. I love how much product you get in this. It's a domed product. And this isn't even the full thing. I've worn this down to get it kind of flat and that's how much I used it. I really like this product. I like that there is a decent shade range. Um, I think Milani does an okay job with shade ranges. I kind of wish I could see more, but I love how affordable this is. I love the formula. I love the way it looks. I love the way it wears. I actually get compliments when I wear this bronzer. Like, oh, you look so tan, or oh, did you go on a vacation? Like, I actually got that a few times. It's just, no, I don't leave my house. It's just my Milani bronzer. <laughs> All right, so that is everything. Those are all of my bronzer and individually packaged contour products, ranked least favorite to favorite. Let me know down below if you tried any of these products and which one is your favorite, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.